I'm back at the reservoir today and I'm gonna be continuing my quest to become a bass master. As most of you probably know, the majority of my fishing has been done from the bank. So that's why this past summer, I've been trying to spend more time learning how to fish deep water and learning how to fish offshore locations away from the bank. To help me fish those spots, I've got my deeper smart sonar, a lake map, a couple marker buoys, and a uh, selection of baits rigged up to help me fish this uh, really deep and clear water. Here's a game plan. I'm gonna start fishing this hump right here. It's located about 400 feet off this point. Then I'll make my way over to this island, fish around a little bit. A lot of nice contour lines dropping into deep water. Then I'll make my way over this bank and uh, fish a couple foundations, a couple uh, main lake points targeting the deeper areas. And uh, if I can't catch any fish doing any of those, I'll probably just, I don't know, crawl up into the fetal position and lay on the bottom of my boat for the rest of the day. This is the point and I need to go about 400 feet out that way. So I've set up my deeper and I'm going to use the deeper's boat mapping function right here to find exactly where the uh, drop offs are that I need to fish. Right now I'm next to this point in uh, three feet of water and what I need to do is I need to travel over here where it comes back up. So if I click on the map it drops down to 34 feet then it's going to come back up to about 15 feet and, and I think there's a spot where it comes up to less than 10 feet so that's what I'm looking for mainly. So you can see the water depth uh, dropping a lot. We were just in about four feet and you can see we're traveling into the deeper water right here. And we're about to get to the deepest part which is going to drop into 30. So we're coming up on the uh, hump right here. We were just in 34 feet. Marking some fish down there moving up to 17 feet, 16 feet, 13 feet and you can see quite a few fish hovering right above the grass. This is uh, exactly where I want to be. I'm going to go ahead and find the top of the hump before I drop the anchor and uh, start fishing 10 feet. This is probably going to be it. So I'm going to drop one marker buoy about there. That's going to signify the top of the point. And let's see where I'm at right now. I'm in 12 feet so I'm a little bit off the top. I'll go ahead and anchor around this area and uh, start fishing. Something busting right out there. Oh, my top one. Oh, some school of something. Got my top water. Is he still there? Is he still there? Dang. No, I'm too slow. Damn it. Why is this tangled? Alright, where was it? I think it was out there. Something was busting. Oh, over there is busting too. This is why you want to come to these offshore humps early morning, then come to the top of it and feed. Oh my gosh, that was a big fish. That was my spook. Dang it, man. Every time I see a big fish, it does not bite my bait. There it is. I got him. He actually did bite my bait. That's awesome. I'll switch into a drop shot. That's a little guy. Not much fight in him. Must be tired from that warm. Oh, there's one following it. Oh, with my shaky head, I'm gonna hook them both. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna hook both of them. Shaky head, shaky head. Here's how I'm gonna double up. All right, never mind. Double up's not happening. It's worth worth a shot. Let's go ahead and land this fish right here. That's better than I expected. I swiped at it, hooked on the outside of the mouth. Nice pound and a half chunk right here. All right, there you go. Pretty little fish. See you later. Caught that fish on this uh, bait fish colored spook. I'm using a silent version to keep my presentation natural in this uh, 20 foot visibility water. Let's go ahead and get out there and see if I can uh, find some more. There's another one. You got it. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Dang. He had it twice. That's my next cast. Oh, he came back. Oh, it's a giant. He came back. He followed it in. No, 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 no. No. Gosh. All right. I'm not kidding, guys. Oh, it wasn't a giant. It was like a three and a half pounder. But man, that, I can't believe he missed it. That sucks. This is definitely a good spot, though. I was reeling it in. Oh, I should have left the bait out there. I'm so dumb. Ah, oh, man. Oh, we live and learn, right? Oh, 
Oh, he's, he's back on it. He's back on it. Oh, he's right here. Please eat that bait. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to work it again. I'm going to follow it up now. Senko. Follow it up. Leave it right there. All right, let's see if you can resist this. All right, Bass, let's see you try to resist the Senko. No, I think they want it on top. They definitely want to eat that bait on top, so I'm going to stick with the spook. Leave that over here. Let's get back out there. Make a short cast. There we go. Oh my gosh, he missed it. He missed it. Oh, he missed it. He'll come back. He'll come back. Man, I guess your heart pumping. He took it all the way under, too. I'm missing so many topwater strikes. I waited two seconds also. Man, really? I'm on some good fish. I just can't hook them up. I'm using the right bait. Because uh, this earlier today, I saw him, I heard him busting everywhere. Oh, he busted it right there. No, 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 he messed the bait up. My bait's backwards. Dang. Nearly knocked it out of the water. Actually, the last fish I caught, he, was, uh, he wasn't even hooked in the mouth. So I think what's happening is that these fish are just, for some reason, just aggressively attacking the bait. They're not really trying to eat it. That's a heck of a blow up right there. That was a heck of a blow up. I got him this time. He's on. He's on. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta do more offshore fishing. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. Oh my god, is my drag set? Oh, I don't, I don't think my drag set. Oh, it's set now, it's set now. I think it's a giant, guys. It looks like a giant. Let me see. Please stay on, please stay pinned. Uh, oh my, yeah, it's a good fish. Yeah, it's a really big one. Oh my gosh, no, don't jump, no, gosh. Gosh, come here, come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 please stop. Oh, he's hooked, dude. I got, ah, I got him with both hooks. Woo, look at that. That is what you want to see right here. Oh my gosh. Freaking choke that bait right there. Oh man. All right, big girl, time to let you go. See you later. Gosh, that's a nice hit. Oh my goodness. Did you guys see that? That was like right in front of me. Oh my gosh. Honestly, there is nothing better than a good freaking topwater bite. My last fish came about two minutes ago. Oh no, like five minutes ago. Look at him, look at him swiping it. They're not even trying to eat it. Well, that last one I ate it. Just being super freaking aggressive. That is awesome to see. There we go. Aggressive little guy. I read that when you're fishing offshore, obviously you want to consider using bottom baits if the water is deeper. But I heard if it's clear water and you use a top water bait, that can be a good way to fool them because they'll be looking up at the bait and they'll only see uh, like half of the profile of it. So they might not be able to tell that it's uh, as fake if you're fishing a top water versus if you're fishing a bait in the middle of the water column or the bottom. But all I know is that they're hitting it right now. Oh my gosh, that's another big one. He missed it again. He missed it again. He missed it again. Gosh. He got it this time. Three times in a row, baby. Let's freaking. All right, sorry. I, can't, I don't want to get too hyped. But that's freaking awesome. Oh, it's not a giant. That was so cool. Oh my gosh. God, I love bass fishing. Oh, that's a solid fish. That's a solid fish. Holy mackerel. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. My goodness. Come here, come here, girl. Oh, she's hooked good. You're not coming off. Oh, look at that fish. Look at this. I, she swiped at it th three times and boom! Look how chunky she is. Goodness, side of the mouth. That is insane. Holy mackerel. Whew. She's feisty. All right, we're gonna let you go, girl. We're gonna let you go. I just wanna check you out a little bit. Got a little, uh, little infection right there, it looks like. Really fat belly. Overall, pretty good fish. I right, wouldn't let you go now. Whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and go. Waiting on you. I think she's taking a liking to me. She's ready to go, she's healthy. 
just doesn't want to take off. She's biting my finger right now. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna let it go and she's gonna fly off. You guys ready? Here you go. Bye bye. Oh my, called it. Whew. Not gonna lie, big girls like me. Oh man, I came back for you. Got him, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> I wish you guys could see exactly what I could see. That fish literally took the bait underwater, it floated back up, then it came back and slammed it. It must be like a freaking giant school because I'm making the same cast over and over, getting slammed. Man, look at that in the water, that's beautiful. And of course, I don't hook him in the mouth, as usual. Whoops, almost high stick that. What is going on here? I think the line's wrapped around him. All right, don't move, buddy, or I might get hooked. Oh! All right, quick release. <laughs> like I was saying, uh, yeah, I don't know what I was saying, but this is fun as hell. The bite's crazy out here. I've been fishing for approximately four and a half hours and caught 12 fish or so in the first two. Haven't landed a single fish in the last two and a half. I tried mixing it up using a uh, drop shot and a uh, swim bait, but uh, they wouldn't even they wouldn't even touch it. I, sw I went back to the spook and I've gotten about five or six blow ups, missed every single one. I should probably move to a new location and try some other stuff out, but just really want one more big topwater fish. Well, couldn't catch any more fish from that uh, one spot, but uh, it was a heck of a morning and still plenty of time left today. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab some lunch. Then uh, I'm gonna head back out here, probably turn the cameras off and just mess around hitting uh, random locations and trying out some uh, techniques I'm not very good at. But if you guys wanna know what I was using today, all the gear and stuff, I'll have it linked in the video description down below. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Be sure to mix it up a little bit. If you haven't already, try fishing off the bank, get offshore, and uh, yeah, you might be surprised at what you catch.